Hey there, welcome back to day three of VHS September in August on DVD with Barefoot at Bookman's. No one's really watching these, so it's on par. Par? It's on par. It's on par for Barefoot. Uh, He's hmm. brilliant, but a little weird. My DVD collection is three stronger. I should have counted how many I actually have. Uh, about 20. But we're fixing to have 31 more. Quick fun fact before we get into the day. Do you know that for day one, not even yesterday and today, day one, I shot 37 minutes of B-roll at Bookman's and you got to see three little clips. It's almost two o'clock in the morning. On the second, I want this to be released in the morning while I'm at work. And these are rushed and kind of crappy. So hopefully what I say is good enough? I don't know. Good enough. That's our new slogan at Barefoot. I am so dirty. Why am I saying this shit? Let's get the show on the road. I downloaded the Reanimator trailer and so maybe we'll have some B-roll of Reanimator <laughs> or maybe 37 minutes of Bookman's. That was day one. <laughs> what did I just say? Reanimator? Howard Phillips Lovecraft Reanimator. HP Lovecraft to the regular uh, lay person. This is insane. And it's another super expensive one. I haven't bought a four to seven dollar DVD yet. Fuck me. God, Barry puts the worst. But this is the best. Oh my God. Double disc packed, packed with features. Two commentaries, one just by Stuart Gordon, the director, and then one with a bunch of the actors and I think someone else. I think it's Yuzna, Brian Yuzna, the producer and a round table of the actors. Who are some of the actors? Barbara Crampton, Ugh. <laughs> Jeffrey Combs, those are the two main ones that everyone knows but also Bruce Abbott and David Gale. This thing is packed with amazing people. And this DVD is packed with special features. It's got a whole disc of special features. That's why I paid $10.50 for it. Back to day one. Oh, and hey. Um, and this is linked to day one. Richard Band did the score that some people complain about. Richard band did the score for this and this was released by empire pictures going back to day one which charles band owned empire pictures and the brother of richard band that is awesome you like the music it is so bernard herman it is so psycho and um it's like a synth pop version of psycho i actually um I've seen this. I've seen this a bunch of times. This is the first one that I've seen. Um, I used to think that this was literally a remix of Psycho, Psycho's Theme by Bernard Herrmann. Crazy. It's not. It's that derivative. I swear to you, I thought it was a remix of it. It even has the same change-ups. And he got made fun of a lot for it for being like Bernard Herrmann. But I just think it's funny that it's so <laughs> adding to the fire. I literally thought it was a remix of Psycho. I mean, obviously, uh, 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 I guess I said synth pop already, I think. Um, I just thought it was a modernized remix, synth pop version of Psycho. Anyways, Charles Band's brother released this movie. Oh no, wait, Charles Band released this movie and his brother did the score, Richard. I wonder if his brother calls him Dick. I'm so embarrassed. I'm a, hey, yesterday, I am so sunburnt. Um, I should have worn tank top today. Then I would have looked super Michigan Wigger Billy. Wigger Billy, look at this stuff, guys. 
I'm not even going to read it all. Maybe I'll just flash it on the screen. So many interviews, 70 minute making of featurette. It says featurette. I guess 70 minutes is featurette. That's almost a feature. Roger Corman thought all films should be 80 minutes. It's almost a Roger Corman picture. All these discussions, all these interviews, deleted scenes, trailers, TV spots, extended scenes, production stills. Fun on the set. Fun on the set still gallery. Holy shit. The screenplay is on here. Our new, I don't think I have a, a, a computer that has a disk drive. Oh, wait. The old PC, it's not even plugged in, but so awesome. Hey. Oh, I think I got sidetracked. Both of the band brothers were ten fifty a piece. And of course, Dennis Hopper was 18. I have exotic taste in movies, I guess. Thank you for playing along at home. Listening to me talk about cinema. I did, did I even talk about the movie? I talked about uh, Stuart Gordon directed it. I think I already said that in passing. Oh, because of the commentary, Stuart Gordon. Stuart Gordon, awesome. What's what else is popular about this? Uh, I'm not Herbert. I'm not Herbert. I'm not Herbert. When I would hear that uh, white zombie song, I don't even know if it's really saying Herbert, but I used to jokingly say, "I'm not Herbert. I'm not Herbert." I can't even think of which track it is. But if you know Old Way Zombie, it's like their third album, but everyone thinks it's their first album. It's their first studio release. Last Extra Sisto Devil Music Volume Number One. There's a track near the middle to end that says, I'm not Herbert. I'm not Herbert. Herbert West. Have you ever seen Darcy the Male Girl dress up as Howard West? Herbert West? No, I can't even say it right. I'm not Howard. I'm not Howard. Herbert. Have you ever seen Darcy dress up as Herbert West? What if I just said, hey, this is Reanimator starring Rufus the Cat. Sorry I farted yesterday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bookman's. Barefoot. Building your DVD collection. Oh, this was called AKA Manipulating You Jason. Today at work, I was thinking about YouTube. Not thinking about the new screenplay. Not thinking about uh, Barefoot has a couple of shoots, like a paid to hire shoots. And I wasn't thinking about any of that. I was thinking about YouTube. So this is working, manipulating Jason. See, I didn't want to do anything. And uh, Pete said, you talk so much about movies. Why don't you just do that? And so producer Pete, he earned his stripes in by saying, just go talk about movies. I'm sure someone will like you talking about movies. And then I thought, or technically I wanted to listen to a DVD commentary and so I thought oh man my DVD game is weak VHS strong so now DVDs getting strong these are three badass flicks to add could you imagine when I'm standing here with 31 I'll see you guys tomorrow his experiments have always been unorthodox 